वेलकम टू क्विक लिटरेचर अकेडमी सब्सक्राइब एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन फॉर मोर लिटरेचर वीडियोस ब्यूबल इज द ओल्डेस्ट ऑफ द ग्रेट लॉन्ग पोएम्स रिटर्न इन इंग्लिश इट मे हैव बीन कंपोज मोर देन 1200 हंड्रेड ईयर्स ए गो इन द फर्स्ट हाफ ऑफ एट सेंचुरी ऑल दो सम स्कॉलर्स वुड प्लेस इट एज लेट एज द टेंथ सेंचुरी इट्स टाइटल हैज बीन असाइंड बाय मॉडर्न एडिटर्स फॉर द मेनी स्क्रिप्ट डू नॉट नॉर्मली गिव एनी इंडिकेशन ऑफ टाइटल और ऑथरशिप It was originally composed in the dialect of what was then Mercia, the Midlands of England today. It may be the lone survivor of a genre of old English long epics, but it must have been a remarkable and difficult work even in its own day. In its entirety, it is more than 3000 lines long. Beowulf tells the story of a warrior named Beowulf. Beowulf comes to the aid of King Hrothgar. whose kingdom is being terrorized by a monster named Grendel the courageous beowulf uses his epic strength to kill grendel and then slays grendel's vengeful mother before returning home to gateland beowulf later becomes the king of the gates and rules for a peaceful 50 years when a dragon begins to pose a threat to gateland beowulf and his servant willaf set off to defeat it beowulf succeeds in slaying the dragon but dies in the process beowulf's poet Beowulf's poet was reviving the heroic language style and pagan world of ancient Germanic oral poetry, a world that was already remote for his contemporaries and that is stranger to the modern reader in many respects than the epic world of Homer and Virgil. Beowulf's poet imagines such oral performances by having King Hrothgar's court poet recite a heroic lay at a feast celebrating Beowulf's defeat of Grendel. Its elliptical references to quasi-historical and legendary material show his audience was still familiar with many old stories, the outlines of which we can only infer, sometimes with the help of later analogous tales in other Germanic languages. It is now widely believed to have been a Christian, and that the poem reflects well-established Christian tradition. Its elegiac tone may be informed by something more than the duty to praise a prince whom he holds dear. and cherishes memory when that moment comes when he has to be convoyed from his bodily home thanks for watching stay tuned for the next part